Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, well that last game was really frustrating because it was close. Like, I definitely could have won by doing things differently. It's hard to say if I actually was making the wrong calculations. But, I'm just I'm so close to so many, for so many turns. Like, ah. Uh, I don't think this deck is capable of doing good things. It does generate a lot of cards from out of nowhere. It's better if those cards are not actual garbage like Astral Communion, Communion though. <laughs> if one of those two Astral Communions had been a card that was remotely useful, there's a good chance that I would have won that game. Valir versus Khadgar. Even without psychically Knowledge knowing it, whether my opponent had Once 8 damage in hand or not. Seven. Um, you're still one of my early game castable guys, so I guess I'm keeping you. Okay, Huxter is good. He can't give me an Astral Communion from a Mage, so he's going to have to work harder to find a bad card. Druids have a lot more cards that are just completely bad. Mages may have a lot of cards that are suboptimal, but they're not going to... I don't think they have as many cards that you could get for free, and you'd be like, that is completely useless, even for free. You can get cards that are really weak sauce for free. They're totally not worth it, but... You want to buy a funnel cake? You know, like a freezing potion or something, it still does... Something you can save your butt in the right situation. Uh, so, yeah, dude. Oh, it takes a lot. Morgan, okay, uh, fair trade against us. Actually, oh, I mean, yes, he could use the Worgen and shoot and kill my Raptor, but I can Raptor the Huckster and get a free card out of it, and that's a bunch of effort for my opponent to expend. So let's definitely do that. Buy one! I did buy one, and I get one free. So yeah, you can go 3-1 and Fire Blast, kill my Raptor. I would still have a 2-2 two -two out there. That would take my opponent's entire turn, more or less. And his guy. That would actually be okay. Hmm. And it presents him a problem, because any other play he's doing, he has to compare it to killing the raptor. Where, like, whatever minion he plays for three mana or less, there's a good chance the raptor can kill it and survive. Like that! That seems like something the raptor can kill. Really? Really? That seems like an odd choice, to not, like, trade the 3-1 for something, but okay. Um... I can get three attack weapon and kill that. Yeah. Oh wait. So many he has three attack, not one. I gotta do it right. Okay. I got it in time, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cards I don't play with very often. Now we are killing that with the raptor. Unfortunate. It's gonna go down. So I think what I'm gonna do then is play Aerosmith here. Because that shield should actually prevent the, uh, the Worgen from getting at my other guy, which means the opponent needs to AoE or else my army could do some good. Still costs him half of his mana to shoot the Raptor, although half of your mana to kill the 3-1. Pretty worthwhile. <sighs> this stage, but that does mean not doing a whole lot else with the turn, and I have a lot of crap out there. Since if he can't kill the shield in some easy fashion, it is eating the Worgen's turn. And still being alive. Okay, that's concerning. What we do. Yeah. Yep, that's uh, that's concerning. That is going to have a negative impact on my dudes. I mean, basically everything's going to die. I can't do anything to prevent everything from dying. So I'm uh, just going to have to get the cards out of it. 
would be really nice if I had some convenient way to get rid of that. But, I mean, mm. even if I had a spell that blew him up, it would kill all my guys. So, yeah, fair enough. It happens. I don't think I worrying about it too much. Nope, that doesn't change the situation. I won! That's not super useful, but okay. Um... Small time buccaneer. Not so good against a mage. Used to be awesome when he was 1 2. But you still have to spend a lot of your mana if you wanted to get rid of him. And if you don't, then I can make a dagger and he hits you for 3. Fireball to kill my frog? That is fine. That was a very expensive play for you. I'm okay with it. Oh, cool. I don't know if it's the best use of everything, but that does mean I can potentially keep him alive. Which is, at the very least, annoying. And we, we know if something is going to be psychologically annoying for my opponent, it's not a bad idea. We're ahead in life, we're ahead in stuff, we're about the same for cards. This is actually going fine so far. But we know my deck doesn't have a whole lot of strong late game. Like, we're the 5, 6, 7 mana area is where my deck is going to perform well in theory. And beyond that, my opponent might have much better stuff. I oh, that's really bad. Just one spell. Ah, I got the thing. God damn it. Okay. Well, you can kill that and live. That's not the worst. Blades ready. It's not a duplicate. Hooray! There wasn't anything I could do about it if it was going to be a duplicate. We're going to play the lackeys in case there's a duplicate. Um, nope. Okay. We're going to play this because it can survive a flame strike. Here we go. Okay. It's not a duplicate, it's not an effigy, it's not a mere entity, it's not a potion of polymorph. Uh, could be a counterspell, spellbender, ice block, it's not frost armor, could be a vaporize, because I didn't attack him with a minion. Definitely want to attack with him first. And if he's alive, which he won't be. Don't forget to tip your door in. Okay. All right. First probe for secret. If I hit that guy, I can stab him to death. Stabbing him to death is okay, but no, I have to check for secret in case it's vaporized. It's not a vaporized. Okay. And it'd be nice to put out the taunt to protect that thing, but no, I'm going to do Lotus Agents because they're amazing. Probably going to get flame strike, and it's going to hurt a lot. These guys are not that exciting. I'm going to take the Jade Lightning just for the damage. I uh, am going to waste my time killing this. Even though that makes my makes me more vulnerable. But I mean, again, if it's a Flame Strike, my opponent could have Flame Strike me anyway. I'm going to save a minion in case it's a Flame Strike. Dagger instead. And I'm way ahead for health, and I have another 4 damage in my hand, which is good. I'm forgetting a bunch of secrets, but uh, but yeah, we counterspell, spellbender, hmm. ice block is the obvious one that hasn't come up for a while. I do get flame strike, hooray, that sucks, but uh, not that unexpected. Hey, I can see my house from here. Here we go. Keep stabbing, in case my opponent keeps killing all my minions. Although, I might wish I had that two mana. I might not want to have to spend two mana on a dagger next turn. But we'll see. So this is a lot of potential damage out there. Killing the 4-4 would make the other one ridiculously deadly. It's not something you want, I'm sure. There must be. Animated armor. That's annoying, Fine. but if I can trade my 4-4 for it... Yeah. Okay, so what's the ice block math look like? 
this would be 5-5. Five, five. So if I hit the 1-1, one, one, I mean, I hit the 4-4, four, four, this guy becomes sort of 6-6. Six, six. So I've got to do things, yeah. All right, well, we're going to do that anyway. Here we go. Ooh, a counter spell. That means I win. Because I was just doing the ice block, man. I was going to knock, her knock him down to one damage. To one hit point. Before actually unleashing that attack. Okay. That's fine, though. That was good. I felt fairly in control that game. So the next one's probably going to be much worse. But we're up to four wins, so this one's already done okay. I already forget, but I'm pretty sure my sentiments in the at, at the end of the first video, like when I gotten my deck picked out, was like, ugh, not good. So this is a not great deck, but it's a uh, it's getting there. It does have a lot of ways to generate cards. So as much as I got screwed that one game with Weasel Tunneler and two Astral Communions, nevertheless. There's enough random card generation that the RNG is likely to give me at least one really good card over the course of the game. I will fight with honor. Watch at a reasonable price. Back. Um, do I keep the Burkle too? I think I'm going to keep all these cards. I don't think I'm going to mess with this. I've got the coin if I need to get some. Yeah. Master of Ceremonies. That was a terrible row. I have to pick the Master of Ceremonies. Speaking of terrible, call it Smuggler's Run. Terrible. I'm going to save my coin. I may come to regret it. It's a 1 1. That is okay. Ah, Huckster, excellent. I save my coin again. I'm okay. Yeah. That, that Smuggler's Run has me concerned already, though. So my deck's not great in the early game. That's discovering. That means probably not playing it right now. Although, my opponent has a good chance to get a decent-sized minion out of that. So, that's definitely unfortunate for me. But, it's not helping to rush me down. So, that's a plus. I wonder... I'd like that. Ninja Turtle Secret of the Ooze card backs. You know, mine have actual ooze. Um, fork. Yeah, fork. Time to die. This would be, a good, it'd be nice to draw my raptor. I've got my choice. That is a large spider. No denying it. That is my raptor. There's no denying it. Uh, I think I'd rather have the random card than the weapon. We're gonna coin. Shuriken. Like, can you kill the spider? Shuriken! Ooh, she's a smuggler. Excellent. I didn't realize this would count as a random class card. I mean, it's only playable by three classes, but I didn't think that would count. The more you know. Hmm. Pay attention, class. It's just never come up for me before. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm glad this is mine and not my opponent's right now, because it'd be bigger. Uh, then again, this could potentially buff that, but I'd have to get super lucky. I need to kill the 3-5. Could just hit her with the fork, play mm. the fork, hit her with that, keep my guys alive, such as they are. I kind of want to save this. It means I'm not doing much with my mana, but, like, what else am I going to do? Not kill her? 
Yeah. <laughs> I think I am going to do this. Here we go. Use this to reuse his power, but uh, I don't think that's as big a concern. I, I am going to just try and get more out right now. You know, you know the 1-1 one, one Jade is kind of pointless to have in my hand. It's not that big an upgrade. It could trigger combo if I get my Shadow Pan or something. I guess it could also eat the plus one, plus one from this, which would also suck. But maybe play it before that. So one plus one min plus one minion down, but three to go. Because again, there was that one that was discovered. I wonder. Good. Okay. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's not ideal. Go that way. I think I'm just gonna play this and replay this if you want. So I'd like there to be things out there to receive his buff. If the Murloc just kills the Raptor, I can stab it, in theory. That's two plus ones. Minions down, two to go, counting on those discovered. You can only see one glow Let up there, but the discovered one. Ah! Uh, okay, now that's really, really bad. Okay. Far from great. Uh, wow. Well, I'm going to play him while he's deep. I'm not ready. Here we go. Do I care if he eats the plus one plus one? Do I just want to get this out instead? This is bigger. Trying to get the bonus on him is like a tremendous amount of work that's almost never going to pay off. So it's not really where I'm. Like it's it's sitting there, it's something I'm thinking about, but it's not really the priority so much. It's just making sure I do the right things, but. Uh, I can't stab again this turn because I already attacked. So we'll play this guy and a three. He's probably just playing that guy and a three. I could also burgle. I don't think that's as worth it. So let's let's play the master of ceremonies and this guy. Uh, I am gonna kill the one one. I don't like wasting that damage. That like four damage to my opponent would probably would be nice, but I. This is a paladin. I don't want him having more buff targets out there because it gives him a lot more options. Answer the call of the light. Speaking of more buffs, yeah. So when it gets ugly, I need my random cards to pay off pretty much. I want a joust. Doesn't seem like the world's most important joust, but I want it. So hooray! I'll take small damage. That's still alive. Lotus agents are amazing. If I played this, I could just stab that thing back and be gone. I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Counter Jones. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, that's not fine. I don't like that Grime Street Protector being in there. That is a concern. Oh, I could do that. I forgot about that. It, wor it works out kind of the same. Yeah, it, it doesn't really make a difference to how I was going to do things. Here we go. Um. I give the bonus to her. For seven. Then we're gonna do this. Uh, taking hammer of twilight. Wasn't really a fantastic selection. 
you can make an argument for the backstab because the mana would be important, but I just at this stage of the game, I'm kind of looking for what is the biggest card. And I felt like that was the biggest card that I had to choose from. Opponent has lots of cards, not a lot of hit points, oh, and I have some serious minions out there. Maybe I'm okay? Maybe? Maybe. Essentially, if I draw another non, if I draw a non-minion card, I could potentially like buff my uh, doppelgangster. Hmm. You know, three, three, threes, which is not really the world's most impressive play, even if it's pretty good. Like it's it's efficient, but at this stage of the game, is it really that critical? I don't know. I'm just having a hard time deciding. You have a lot of buffed minions in your hand, but you haven't done enough to buff your play state, I guess. Oh. There is a high chance I can just kill you. Like a 100% chance I can just kill you. I would have to severely screw up to not just kill you. Let's see if he, let's see who gets fucked. Nice. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Okay. I guess, I guess my opponent's buffs were all hitting, like, later, late game minions or something. I just didn't have enough time. I don't know, but it worked out. It looks like if that game had gone two or three more turns, it might have turned bad for me. But we're five wins and two losses. That was excellent. So let's see if we can get any more wins somehow next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Or, on your touchscreen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touchscreen is not recommended. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.